Hi, I'm Jeff Forgey, and many of you guys out there might really enjoy the looks of the uh, Raptor grill and really, really want a grill like that for your Super, du Super Duty. Well, I'm here to show you how I ended up customizing these aftermarket grills for my Super Duty. Before we get started, let's take a look at some of the supplies we're going to need to get this job done. After watching a couple other videos and seeing other users and their awesome grills on their trucks, I decided to pull the trigger and buy this grill. Once I received the grill, I started looking immediately for some letters to replace the ones that it came with, but quickly found out that there were no letters to be found anywhere for an 05 through 07 F250. I found a blog after doing some searching online that showed a gentleman that had converted the first and third letter into an F and an R and thought maybe this is something I could do. Now in order to keep this grill um, centered and these letters looking proportionate, what I did is I made my F look the way I wanted it to, uh, made sure that the spacing here and here was the same, and then I ran some masking tape uh, down the center here to create a center line. Let me show you what that looks like. As you can see here, I've added that green tape to the center there. And what this really ultimately is gonna do is gonna keep your R and your F looking proportionate across the grill. The first step is to take and cut away the extra material so that you can get the basic outline of the F. Cut out a small piece of scrap and place it in this piece. I used super glue to hold it in place and also used a soldering iron on the backside to melt some of the plastic together to give it some more strength. I attach the main pieces to the letter with the JB Weld Putty and after it would dry I would sand it down with the Dremel and add all the details in the bevel and then spray paint it a flat black and see where I might need to add some more. Next we have to cut the R. This one was by far the trickiest because there was more to do with this one especially with the notch. Some people had just cut the notch in but I decided to go ahead and add the extra bevel and uh, pieces in the end of it. To add the bevel on the top of the letter, I used the triangular shaped uh, bit for the Dremel. Uh, just take your time, be patient. This section was a little bit trickier. I ended up gluing two separate pieces on the end of this um, middle piece with the R uh, that gave me a platform to attach the glue to. In this picture, you can see I'm using the JB weld on each side uh, to secure these letters. Well, both letters should be shaping up pretty good. You should be almost this far along at this point. If there are any last little minute um, designs or details you need to finish up, go ahead and do that at this point um, and clean the letters up. Spray paint in black, see if there's any areas you need to add to. On the underside, here's the uh, uh, letter F. I was kind of worried about this uh, arm just hanging out here in the middle of nowhere if a rock hits it uh, or something that could possibly snap it right off here. So. I went ahead and added a internal support uh, to this letter to give it a little bit more um, durability. Now it's time to finish your grill and paint it or finish it uh, however you would like. I decided to go with the truck bed liner Linex um, for two parts. I really think it looks sexy and the other part was uh, with this on there it's really going to help strengthen all those weak areas uh, where the letters could potentially vibrate or crack uh, down the road. Hope this video was helpful. If you liked the video, please smash that thumbs up. And if you have questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below.